So do you use mathematical statement or sentence? Do you use this phrase? Yeah, so we can say, okay, create a mathematical sentence using any four numbers. Any four, right? Now it's up to you. You can say use numbers from zero to nine, whatever. You can say use uh, four nines, four fives, you know? So it is really up to you. And any or all of the operations to form or to give you an answer that is today's date. So for example, today is the 6th of July. So we can say one example will be 2 plus 1 plus 1 plus 2 will give us 6. So on a daily basis, 6 is today's date, right? The child can form many different number sentences. Now, in the beginning, you may want to just uh, encourage them to do it. Later on, you may want to ask them to be creative about how they could come up with a solution. And this sort of uh, activity, they are very simple. It is a simple instruction. It is something that they can continue to think about when they are on their way home, when they're having dinner at home. They could even uh, maybe even ask their parents for help, which is perfectly fine. It is better, you know, that they ask somebody for help, and then uh, from there, they may learn something extra and may challenge the parents a little bit as well. So in what way is this uh, differentiated? How, how is this, how is putting all this up differentiated? More than one answer, and what else? Very good. Anything else? Exactly, it's really up to the students, right? The students' own ability. The struggling students, they may be able to form a simple one like the example given. And then the more advanced students may even introduce brackets. Right, yeah. Why not? There's no reason to stop them from doing that. If they're capable of doing that, we should applaud them for their efforts. If they use fractions, you know. So that tells us that they understand what numbers are. Numbers are not just whole numbers, it's a wide spectrum. 